The 70s were a great time for collecting things, and just like the teens of today, your room wasn't complete without some really cool posters to hang on the walls. Today we take a look back at why sexy 70s posters just won't go away. So kick back and relax, and let's take a trip back in the day, to when the hottest babes on TV were plastered on the walls of America. Back before she was hanging out with Lee Horsley, on the set of Matt Houston, Pamela Hensley was turning heads as the evil Princess Ardala, on Buck Rogers, in the 25th century. Pamela Hensley wasn't the only one hanging out in the 25th century, actress Erin Gray got in on the act, in metallic purple. Kathy Lee Crosby's wholesome image, on That's Incredible, was turned on its head when she released these smoking hot posters, proving that even a talk show host can heat things up in the 70s. When she wasn't putting bad guys in jail as policewoman, Angie Dickinson found the time to pose completely nude in this classic rare poster from the 70s. Celebrities weren't the only ones in the poster game back in the day. Anyone who was a fan of the Dallas Cowboys football team in the 70s knew full well they had the hottest cheerleaders on the planet. This iconic poster sold millions nationwide. Linda Carter wasn't one to be exploited, but she did manage to take a beautifully done poster for fans back in the 70s. Although not known today, Susan Anton made a name for herself back in the day with these two famous posters. Even though Charlie's Angels were the undisputed poster queens in the day, other TV personalities wanted to cash in on the craze. Like this cool shot of Aaron Moran of Happy Days fame. Even letter turner Vanna White wanted to take a role in the hay back in the 70s. Supermodels wanted in on the act also. Christy Lee Brinkley had her shot, as well as this iconic poster of Cheryl Teagues, which sold thousands across the country. Gold was the color for this amazing shot of Cheryl Ladd, which sold thousands of copies nationwide. Fans of WKRP in Cincinnati were stunned to see these sexy posters of Lonnie Anderson which were super popular in the 70s. Adrienne Barbo was totally busting out of her role as Maud's daughter in this super awesome iconic poster of the 70s. Our review wouldn't be complete without the undisputed poster queen of all time, Farrah Fawcett. In 1976, photographer Bruce McBroom made history when he convinced a then 29-year-old Farrah Fawcett to lay on a Mexican serape blanket which he was using as a car seat cover at the time. The series of shots he took that day would make pop culture history. The final shot, distributed by Pro Arts Poster Company, sold over 6 million copies the first year. With more than 12 million sold copies, it is considered the best-selling poster of all time, and considered the image that confirms why sexy 70s posters just won't go away. Let us know in the comments section below who your favorite poster celebrity was. And if you liked the video, take a second and give it a thumbs up, it's the only way to give the channel a boost, together we can fight the evil algorithm. Until then, stay cool and sexy.